Okay, as you can see, the old Cava Cruiser has been taken apart. There's parts and pieces laying all back through there. And what I'm working on today is the HVAC system. Now, General Motors was kind enough to put an HVAC system in the car. Problem is, the engine has to be running for this to work. You've got AC, you've got heat, everything, but in order to use any of that, you have to have the engine running. Well, leaving the engine running, even if it is a little four-cylinder, which hardly uses any gas, I'm pretty impressed with it, um, it would still be undesirable to use this engine to run all night long to run your air conditioner or your heater. Plus, some cars have got an automatic, uh, a completely automatic AC system that will kick on and off when you get, when the car gets the temperature or whatever. This one does not. This one is either on or off, and I guess they figure you're sitting in the car, so you can adjust it, you know, for whatever you need. But we don't want to leave it run all night. But we want to use the air conditioner and the heater. Right now it will be air conditioner. Later on it will be heater. I was going to work in a remote start system. That's out now because that just gets too complicated. So what we're going to do, we are going to make this control the car engine. We're going to make this turn the engine on and off to regulate the temperature inside the car. With the stuff that we have here, we're going to have a completely automatic AC and heat system. Okay, let's line stuff up a little neater. This is what is going to tell the car to quit cranking. This right here is the um, vacuum advance from the old distributor when I replaced the points with electronic ignition on old green. Uh, this was on the old distributor and it still works. You apply a vacuum to here and it pulls this little rod right here. And what I've done, I took a micro switch and I have mounted it to this piece, flatten that piece out there mounted the micro switch on it that way when the engine starts and it pulls a vacuum this is a normally open switch which means when it's pushed it's closed when it's not pushed it's open so when the car starts it builds a vacuum that pulls out turns that switch off stops cranking with these two we're going to hot wire the car and of course these are all the connections this will be your on off switch for the whole system to turn it on and activate it. And of course the thermostat is going to control the temperature. Or control the engine which will in turn control the temperature. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, let's just get started on it. Okay, first thing first we need to figure out which wire does what. This is your ignition. The ignition key switch is right over here. Okay. Now some cars will have a security system, so may end up having to leave the key on actually in order to have this work. I'm just going to pull this bottom plug out. This is where our wires are at. Okay. These three wires, the pink, orange, and the yellow, are, this wire comes straight from the battery, just for testing purposes. When I put it into this one, I can hear the fuel pump kick in. That is your ignition. When I plug it into this one, that is the fan for the heater. 
heater and an air conditioner. The last one, that's your starter. Yellow is the starter. The orange is the um, accessories. Pink is the ignition. So, we will need to tap into these. Pull this back some. You actually may be able to get to them under here a little easier, I'm not sure. But okay, see if we can tap into some of these. Okay, I have all these soldered together. Now we just gotta get them insulated from each other because you don't want these touching. So let me get some tape. It's hard to work and uh, film at the same time. Okay, all the wires have been soldered together and taped up individually and then I wrap tape around all of it so it's all insulated very well and it's all good solid connections because I made sure and had good solder joints now we will plug it in first thing is it's hard to hold the camera and do this turn the key on make sure everything works Okay, everything works, and now we have the wires hanging out here for our individual things. Now we need to label those. Okay, well here's kind of what I did, and I ended up getting one of these. Uh, that's the key for it, let me show you. One of these things that you... Put the key in, turn it like that, that turns everything on. And what I have done, because this car had a security system in it, oops, and uh, instead of bypassing the security system, because all cars would be different, I'm, I'm doing this to show everybody how they could do this. And pretty much all cars have got a different type of security system. So. Instead of doing all that, I just disconnected this big wire right here goes straight to your battery. You don't have to worry about it. Okay, this smaller wire, which is this one, is now going through this, which disconnects all your electrical from the battery except for the one wire going to the starter. And I have coming from the other side of this, I've got it going up into here so when you have your key whatever I did with it in here and turned the power is coming from the battery through this little switch and into the original wiring okay and what you do is you leave the key on the key switch is turned on to the run position but the car of course is not going to run because the power is cut off right here that's what this solenoid does when you contact these two points it actually turns the same circuit that this would do okay this is what turns on your battery to here if that makes sense now this is your starter relay um, it's powered you can see this jumps off this is the wire that leads out and this is not permanent yet I mean of course I'm not gonna have the thermostat laying up here but as you can see when you put the thermostat down toward cool the car starts and it runs when uh, air conditioner cools the car down it turns it back off so as you can see it starts it lets it cool down and then turns it back off the way that the starter works okay 
you've got a relay this has jumped into the wires we cut under the dash which the only one I ended up using was the starter wire and this of course is just a ground this hot right here runs over to this micro switch which is depressed by the spring in this vacuum diaphragm whenever your car pulls a vacuum whenever it runs it pulls a vacuum whenever it starts pulling a vacuum it pulls this off of the switch Let me start it to give you an example when that comes off of the switch cuts power to the starter relay or added starter relay and then your starter kicks back out so it will sit there and run and it'll run and run and run until the thermostat tells it to turn back off let's do this again we are going to move the yeah there you go So the car is turning on and off with the thermostat. So now all I have to do is figure out where to mount this inside the car and run the wires and neaten everything up and we will have our system set up. So I'll get back with you in a minute. Okay, this is my little diagram. It was just like a quick sketch to try to figure this out. And this is the original wire, that's what that means. And I'm just breaking the original wire right here with the switch that came out of this that uses these keys. Okay, that allows me to leave the ignition switch in the on run position. And as you can see, this is a starter motor. The big wire from the positive always goes down to the starter motor. Then you've got this little solenoid, well, so it's a little relay, which runs through your vacuum switch right here. This is the ignition and the air conditioning and all that kind of stuff. That is ran from the thermostat right here. And then this switch which actually didn't work. It's the wrong kind of switch because this is a momentary contact. See? It just switch, springs right back. So that is not what I want. But anyway, you run that to a positive source, but you have to run it to the battery because remember, all the positive sources in the car are cut off right here except for the one going to the starter and that doesn't run anywhere except for to the starter this wire is cut off so you have got to hook this positive has got to go to the battery I don't know I'm gonna probably draw up a better diagram than that that's just what I come up with really quick so that uh, I could just figure this out okay still took apart I got the thermostat mounted back there. I left the wire under it so when I get a switch, I can just hook it into it. But, got dogs. Dogs have been trying to help, but they're not helping. Okay. Turn off the key. Okay. What we need to do is we need to make sure when we get ready to go to bed, we have and the dash is not put back together, so you'll have to kind of excuse that, but uh, we've got this on high, cool, and we need to put it on here. If you put it right here, the AC is automatically on and that is recirculate. It gets really cold there. It gets colder there than it does up here. So, now when you go back here and it's hot, well, you just, turn it down now the engine is running you could hear it can't even see that you could hear it start up the AC is going 
and it's getting good and cool. Now that will set and it will cool down. Once it gets cooled down, the thermostat will turn it off. Just like that. Let's try it again. Running. Not running. Okay, that has a thermostat hooked up. Oh yeah. In this application, to change it from heat or from AC to heat, I've got it on this screw right now. I'll probably just end up getting another um, uh, double pole, double throw switch. But for right now, I have it on this screw for air, for air conditioning. And if I want it on heating, I'll just take it off of this screw and put it over here. Then it will work the opposite way. And that'll be for heat. So, there we go. Now, that is the heating and air conditioning done. We'll sit out here and get cool. And once it gets the temperature down, the engine will shut off. But I guess that is going to about do it. I guess I'm going to put everything back together now. These wires I did not need. The only one I needed to solder onto ended up being the uh, starter wire. So you can just look over the ones that are hanging down. Those are going to be cut off and taped up so they won't short out. And everything's going to be, get put back together. Huh, that feels pretty good. Of course, it's not going to cool down with the door open. The dog heard some thunder, didn't you, Daisy? Daisy. Hey, Daisy. Did you hear some thunder a while ago? She gets scared. And she'll get right up underneath of me when there's thunder. Okay, I'm going to turn the car off. But I'm not going to turn the key off. There we go. All right. We'll put this all back together. And, uh... That's going to be about it today. We'll put everything back back together like it's supposed to be. And I'll that I'm going to end the little video. I'll see you the next time. Thank you for watching and uh y'all have a good one.